Hey everyone, if you're busy speed cleaning your dorm before your parents get here for Trojan Family Weekend, here's what you might have missed this week. I'm Mason, and this is your rundown. Two more USC fraternities were suspended after hazing allegations, the time left to solve climate change is running out, and what you need to know about the midterm elections. Looks like there will be no more parties in LA, or at least fewer around USC. Last Friday, USC suspended Sammy and Fisig after hazing allegations. Annenberg Media's Tyra Majors, Alex Chan, and Dong Yao Nye reported on the story. Even though I didn't work on this story, I want to be honest with you guys in saying I'm in Sammy, one of the fraternities that was suspended this week. Here's what our reporters found out. Six fraternities have now been suspended this year. A Pi, Pike, Teak, and Sigma Delta Alpha have all been put on social probation. Sammy and Fisig both told Annenberg Media they're investigating and cooperating with the university's investigation. Neither were able to comment on the specifics of the alleged violations. It does have implications for Greek life as a whole because, of course, one organization doing something poorly reflects badly on really all Greek. There's a reason it hasn't felt like fall recently. A UN report suggested that we have not seen the last of 80 degree days this year. In fact, we look to face a warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels by 2040. Now, I know 1.5 degrees doesn't sound like a lot, but we're already at one degree above pre-industrial levels, and we're seeing an increase in heat waves, wildfires, and intense storms. If we don't almost half our global emissions by 2030, rising sea levels could completely submerge some coastal communities in Florida. Not only that, but the change in climate could bring about new diseases, just to name a few consequences. So what can you do? You can use more energy efficient appliances, you can drive your car less, and maybe ease up on red meat. By spreading awareness and taking small steps like biking or walking more, we can do our part to cut these drastic changes. Are you voting this November? You have until October 22nd to register to vote in the midterm elections. In case you don't know, the midterm elections are November 6th, and they'll decide which party will control the House of Representatives and the Senate for the rest of President Trump's term. In California, the role of governor, one Senate seat, and all 53 U.S. House seats are up for grabs. Issues like affordable housing for veterans and a gas tax repeal will also appear on the ballot. You can go online to sites like Vote.org or TurboVote to register. Do you miss the old Kanye? Well, the new Kanye met with President Trump yesterday at the White House. They planned on talking about issues such as manufacturing, prison reform, and gang violence. Instead, Yeezy went on a 10-minute rant about mental health, his family, and his plans to run for office in 2024. President Trump responded to the rant with a quote, that was quite something. What do you think? Vote in the poll below. Old Kanye or new Kanye? Now I gotta go get ready for the family to get here, so thanks for watching this week's rundown. We'll see you next week.